Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a collection video which I've never actually done before on my channel I don't think. I've done it a few times on my blog on different things but I've never done it on my channel. I'm going to do an eyeshadow collection video. I always want to say post but I'm doing a video not a blog post. <laughs> and I have a few eyeshadow palettes. This is more than like an eyeshadow palette collection than just an eyeshadow because I only have like three other single eyeshadows so I just thought I would do a palette one. Eyeshadows are my favourite makeup products to buy. I always, always am looking at eyeshadow palettes online, long wish list of eyeshadow palettes that I want to try. Um, eyeshadows are my favourite makeup items to wear as well. I always like playing around with eyeshadows so I do actually have some notes on points and stuff that I want to say. So if I keep looking like down here it's because I've got my phone and I've got a ton of points and stuff that I want to say that I would probably forget otherwise. The first palette I'm going to show is the Makeup Revolution 144 Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette Collection 2017 which is pretty huge. I got this before Christmas and it was originally £20 but I think I got it for £10 which I think is really good, especially because it was £20. But there's 144 eyeshadows in here. But Makeup Revolution are one of my favourite brands and I especially love their eyeshadows because they're all really pigmented and creamy and these are just like that. Every shade in this palette is shimmery. Some are more shimmery than others, but there isn't a matte shade in here, which when I first got it, I thought there was, but there's not. Okay, so there's a huge, huge shade, shade range um, in this palette because there's like a ton of like gold, bronze, pinks and really colourful ones. I really like the colourful ones but they're kind of like scary colours to me because I'm more of like a gold slash bronze person. But I have played around with some of these shades, not all of them, I haven't had the chance to play around with every shade. But I have used some of these shades and they're really, really nice to apply and blend in. There is actually a lot of shades in this palette which I probably wouldn't have ever tried before. Like there's purple sparklies, blue sparkly, green, bright pink and so I do want to play around with those but I haven't done so yet. These eyeshadows are really long lasting which I kind of knew would be the thing with Makeup Revolution because all of their eyeshadows that I've tried are long lasting which is really good obviously. These don't have names, which sometimes I do find it difficult to remember which shade I used last time and that I want to use again because there is 144 shades with no names and I'm just like, I can't remember which one it was. I actually swatched every single shade of this on my blog, which took so long and really dried my arms out, but I will leave the link to that in the description box. Yeah, but they are really, really pretty shades. And I won't swatch all of them just because there is 144. I really like this palette. It is actually obviously not, well, it's not really travel friendly. And I have to keep it quite separate from a lot of my other makeup items because it is quite big and it won't fit in my makeup bags. So I do have to keep it separate from my other items, which sometimes I do forget I have it um, or to use it because it's not with my others. But I do use it whenever I can and fairly often. The next eyeshadow palette is the Too Faced Peppermint Mocha um, palette which I do have three Too Faced palettes that I got at the same time in a set so I'm going to show them like every now and then like not in one go because I want to talk about each palette. So this one's the Peppermint Mocha one which I really love the packaging for this because not only do I love pink but it's got it's just I don't know it's just really pretty and this palette also has a blush in it, which I haven't actually used yet, but I'm going to talk about the eyeshadows, not the other bit in it. This has three matte shades and three shimmer shades, which are all really pigmented and really lovely. The shade Peppermint Cream is white, and I don't know if I will ever use it, just because I've never used a white eyeshadow, and I don't know how I would use a white eyeshadow. Christmas Blend is a really lovely light sparkly shade which looks nice on the lid or the inner corner of your eyes. Peppermint Mocha is like a dark brown matte shade which I haven't used. Candy Cane is a really lovely light pink matte shade which I've never used but I could probably 
play around with it and see if I like it but it is actually really pretty. Sprinkles is probably my favourite in this palette because it's like a shimmery purple and I don't know I just really love that shade which is quite different for me because I'm normally like shimmery pink or shimmery gold and bronze and Coffee Chip is a dark brown with a little bit of sparkles in it which I haven't actually used. All of these shades are really pretty and they are long lasting and quite pigmented. Some are more pigmented than others but yeah I really love this palette. The next palette is the Barry M Natural Glow two, Palette 2 which is an eyeshadow and it comes, it's just an eyeshadow palette and it also comes with an eye primer which I used once when I first got it a couple years ago and never used again because it wasn't that much of a good primer. This was actually my first ever palette and I got this early 2015 I think and I got it for around £4 reduced from like six I think it was. Barry Emma one of my favourite brands however this isn't this is probably my least favourite and least used eyeshadow palette that I own just because it only has six shades in it um three matte and three sh three shimmers and I really like the shimmer ones and the third matte shade these aren't hugely pigmented when I swatch them they look quite pigmented but on my eyes they don't and they don't last as long as my other eyeshadows um, there is a little bit of fallout with these so I don't tend to reach for this palette that often but I do really like the you know three shimmer shades my favorite is the middle shimmer shade and that's the one I think I've used the most I did use this quite a bit when I first got it. They wear for a few hours before they start to crease. They are actually quite easy to blend. The next palette is my Too Faced Eggnog Latte palette which the packaging for this is also one of my favourites but I really love this colour blue and these are actually Christmas themed but I can use them all year round so it doesn't matter. And this also has six eyeshadows and a blush but I'm going to talk about the eyeshadows again. This has two mattes and four shimmers. It has a different like shade range to the other Too Faced palette. So Frosty Nog again is pretty much pure white, which I've never used. I've only swatched them before, I've not used them. Um, Eggnog Latte is like another one from the other palette which looks nice on the lid or the inner corner of your eyes. Iced Coffee is this like mid brown with a little bit of sparkles in it. It doesn't look as sparkly as some of the others but it's a really really lovely shade and I have used that before and I really liked it. Skinny Latte is probably my favourite matte shade out of all the Too Faced palettes, the, well the three that I own. Um, it is a light brown and it's really lovely. Cold Brew is really pretty, it's quite a dark um, eyeshadow but it's got loads of shimmer and glitter in it and Central Perk is a dark green sparkly and I'm a huge Friends fan so I love that there's a shade called Central Perk but I don't know if I'd use it because I've never worn green eyeshadow. <laughs> I don't know if I'd like green eyeshadows. Maybe one day I'll try it. When I swatched it it looked really really nice but I am yet to try it. But all of these again are pigmented, some are more pigmented than others and they're long lasting and they are really pretty. The next palette is my BH Cosmetics and Kylie Bible, the 14 eyeshadow and highlighter palette. There's 10 eyeshadows and 4 highlighters in this palette and I really really love this palette. I got this quite recently and I've used it so much since. It's like a nice shade range in here, there's 5 matte and 5 shimmer shades and then 4 really pigmented highlighters. These eyeshadows are really really pigmented and creamy and easy to blend and I really love the shimmer um, eyeshadows because they're really, I don't know how to explain it, they're not like the others. I have these MUA single eyeshadows and they are like, they literally feel so soft and they apply really nicely. I can apply them with a brush or with my fingers and I don't have to use a damp brush like a lot of my other shades and these are like that. They are really easy to apply. I really love the matte shades, I specifically love these two just because I don't have other shades like that which they're like kind of like plum shades and I use them all the time. These are really long lasting eyeshadows and they last pretty much all day long. So do the highlighters. I really love these two highlighters here, mostly this one though. Um, these two are a bit too dark for me however I can probably use them as eyeshadows which I really want to try as eyeshadows. Um, I really like the packaging for this as well. It's different to what I own and it's, I don't know how to explain it, it looks kind of like quilted 
and it has a mirror and it has aspire to inspire written in really pretty writing okay so the next Too Faced palette is gingerbread cookie my hair's knotted is the gingerbread cookie palette which is also really cute and very Christmassy themed <laughs> this has six eyeshadows and a bronzer in it but I really like the eyeshadows in this palette so this ginger cream which is a cream a nice light cream shade which I have quite a lot of and I don't tend to use unless it's on my lid maple syrup which is a darker matte brown shade and I really like this for the crease and in our outer corner of my eyes ginger snap is a very copper shade but this is kind of metallic-y and it swatches and applies really really lovely winter dream which is probably my favorite sparkly shade out of the three Too Faced palettes it's purple but it's kind of like metallic as well a uh, cup of joe which is a very very dark brown with like little bits of i think gold shimmers in it i haven't used this one i'm not really into like really dark eyeshadows and black coffee which is a matte black eyeshadow which again i haven't used but i really like the ginger snap and winter dream they're also really pigmented and long lasting like the other the next palette is my makeup revolution flawless one which you can't actually see the writing on because it's all come off i've had this palette for a couple of years i think i got it at the end of 2015 i, I used to own a all matte one but i gave that to my mum because i don't i didn't use it anymore but this one i've used a ton it has a mix of matte and shimmer shades which i really really love these do have names but it was on like a plastic sheet that went over it and I have no idea where it's gone so I don't know the names of these <laughs> but that I don't even know how many how many mattes and shimmers there are to be honest but there's 32 shades in this palette I think there's more shimmers than there are mattes but there is a nice range of matte shades um all of these are really pigmented and long lasting like the other makeup revolution palette I own and they're all like buttery soft and they're just so easy to blend in and apply uh, with very little fallout. There is a really good shade range in this palette. There's some brown, some pink, some gold. There's a green, which I haven't used. A black sparkly one and a silver one. But I have used a ton of these shades. There's this light brown one, which is one of my favourites, which I've actually hit pan on. Is a really nice shade. But this is one of my most used eyeshadow palettes. And I actually haven't really picked it up that much um recently because i got my carly bible palette so i've been using that a lot but i do use this a lot too and lastly is my favorite eyeshadow palette that i think i own um which is the urban decay naked 3 palette and i've had this for a couple of years and i've used it so much since there is four matte shades and eight shimmery shades <laughs> but they have a really nice range of colors in here i really love the pinks and the gold but i have used this palette a lot my least used ones are these two at the end which is black heart and dark side because they are quite dark although black heart looks like a really lovely shade because it's dark but it's got gold sparkles in it um it is my least worn my most worn is trick which i've quite recently just hit pan on which I am quite surprised about considering how much I've used it since I got it. And my favourite matte shades are Limit and Nuna. And I really love those with Trick. And Buzz is also one of my favourites which is a really lovely pink sparkly. It's probably the only pink sparkly eyeshadow shade that I use. But this is a really really good quality palette. And all of the shades are really pigmented and long lasting as well. But I really really love this palette and I use it all the time. And that is my eyeshadow palette collection. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.